So putting students into breakout rooms and having them work on small groups in a, a familiar format like Google Slides can be a really helpful setup and process. One of the challenges, however, is if you have one big collaborative slide deck where each group is functioning on their own independent slide, it's great for you as the teacher to facilitate this process because you can go into grid mode and see everything so quickly and easily. But then you can also potentially have group one that's going down to the group two workspace and they can see everything that they're working on. Now, if you're having each small group work on different challenges or tasks, one massive workspace is totally fine. But if you want groups working on their the same task and have their own independent space in their breakout room on a set of Google Slides like what we have back here, but if you want to be able to see everything and not have to jump from multiple files and just have one file, then I think this approach and this setup could work. And that's what we're going to get into right now. So if you'll notice here, what we're working from is a set of Google Slides, and I'm calling this the breakout uh, or group work template. You can see here on slide one, this is where I might put challenge one, two, and three, and that's where all the information and the links and the resources are here. And then I have another follow-up slide for the breakout group to do their work. So anything related to task one, they would work on here, task two, and task three. We even have little placeholders for like, who are the students that will take different roles in the group. But here's what I want to be able to do. Instead of having multiple slide twos, and each one of these slides would be a different group where they can see each other's work, I want each group to have their own template, but I want to be able to see them all in one place so I can see everything as the teacher, and here's the setup. The first thing I'll do is do file, make a copy of this entire set of slides, and call, like I've done here, and notice I'm calling that breakout group one. So I'm gonna go back and do that again from the template, but I'll call that breakout group two. So file, make a copy, everything, and I'll call this breakout group two. Wait for that file to load. So obviously if I put resources or prompts or questions, they would appear here, and then here's breakout group two's independent workspace. So you can see it in my tabs up here, I have breakout group one, I've already made that, breakout group two, that's the one I just made. What I've also done though, in this tab off to the right, is I've already made a set of slides, a blank set, but I'm calling that breakout group work teacher view. So here's what I've done already. I went to group one, took their workspace, copied their workspace, went to my teacher view and pasted it. But when I pasted it, I linked the slides together. So I'm going to do that in breakout group two right now. I'm going to group two's workspace. I'm copying this entire slide on the left. Go to my teacher workspace. I'm pasting the slide. And notice I get this pop-up of link down here or do not link. Now I want to link those because when I link them, any changes that are made by group two, I will see them here and I'll get a little option to refresh. So now essentially what we've created is the same template for every group to work from but I don't have to have five or six or seven tabs open. I can have one tab open, potentially even in grid mode to see what everyone's doing. The one catch to this scenario, it's not perfect. I will have to do a little refresh when a group makes a change to kind of stay on top of their work. But it does allow students to have their own small group workspace without seeing everyone else. And it minimizes the number of files I have to have open when that live class is running. So there's definitely some pre-work here, but it could be really helpful on the back end when you're up and running. So let me just go through that process one more time. I'll go to the template. File, make a copy, entire presentation. I'll call this breakout group three. Wait for that to make its copy. Now I'm going to go to breakout group three grab their workspace, which is slide two, copy that whole thing, go to my set of slides, this is the teacher view, and then paste that in and hit link. Now, what happens when a group makes a change, for example? Now I'm gonna role play the students that are in breakout group one and say I type here, like here is our reply slash response, and then they're indicating that task one is complete and they drag that down here. So when they're doing their work here, when I go to my teacher view, if I jump to slide one and take a peek here, we'll give this a second. When I jump back to my teacher view, notice that I have an option right here to update. 
And if I tap update, then I can see the change of there's their reply, there's the, their indication that they're completing task one. So it's not quite the same. Like if I'm in grid view, I don't get that little update option. So I won't see this happening in real time the way I would if everyone was working on one set of slides, but it does solve the problem of giving groups independent spaces, but one location for you to see everything. And then just to go back to demo that one more time, if group two was working here, so we'll call this group two reply, group two reply. And then they might indicate that they're done with task number one. Drag that over here. I'll go back to my teacher view now. I'll jump to slide two and notice there's update. I'll update it and there's the changes, their reply and then the <coughs> indicator that they've completed the task. So that's the whole process. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the link to this kind of group work template in the description. You can make a copy of that and then just follow the process that I outlined and you should be good to go. All right, good luck. I hope this setup helps and this is going to allow you to facilitate some kind of independent small group breakout work in breakout rooms, possibly in Zoom or Google Meet.